Hello everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampinCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I want to welcome you to our Thursday tutorial. Uh, I have um, another celebration item that I wanted to share with you today. I'm going to give it just a minute for people to get signed on. I am going to do use the um, Oso oh Ombre Designer Series paper, which is part of our celebration offerings. So when you spend $50, you get to choose a $50 level item. And this is one of my favorites. This has also been one of the most popular. So I'm very excited about sharing this today. And while we're waiting, I'm going to let you guys um, pick what bundle I'm going to pair it with from the January to June mini catalog. I'm going to guess that you guys cannot guess what bundle I'm going to pair it with. I'm very excited. I, this is just such a fun bundle. And um, you guys put your comments in there on what you think um, I'm going to pair it with. I'll give you just a minute. I see Tammy's on and Sherry. Uh, we had, you know, I'm here in Northeast Arkansas. We had a heck of an ice storm last night, woke me up. But we, fortunately, we didn't have a lot of rain. It was mostly ice pellets. Um, so we didn't uh, have too much buildup of ice on power lines or trees. But it woke me up at five this morning. It was just like ping, 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 ping with all of the, um, I dropped something, with all of the uh, ice going on and falling, it was, it was, I mean, it was loud. I even heard thunder. I'm like, what the heck? Thunder in the middle of winter during an ice storm. That was a little strange. Um, so anyway, uh, the roads are completely icy. We had to postpone class for tonight. Uh, I won't be driving anywhere for a little while. So um, if you notice, I, I have dip fingernail polish. These are my nails, but uh, I use a dip powder because I have real thin fingernails. So... Um, it helps them grow, and two of them, uh, my polish came off last night. If you've ever had dip polish, it's just really hard polish, and um, it came off, and so I'm going with, you know, two naked fingers, so just excuse that for today. Sorry. Uh, so anyway, uh, okay, I need to put my, got to put my other phone off here. Let me turn this down. Um, okay, so has anybody, I don't see anybody guessing. You guys need to guess uh, what you think I'm going to pair this with. I'm just about to tell you. Um, I'm going to flip you down. Let's get this flipped upside down and we can uh, do some show and tell. Flip. Okay, I've got to need to get my switcher going here. All right. There we go. Aim that up just a little bit. Okay. So here we are. This is our, um, the celebration item we're going to do. It's oh so ombre. It's six by six paper. You get 48 sheets. There's four colors. So let me kind of go over these colors with you real quick. We have Granny Apple Green, uh, and then we have a polka dot ombre. I don't know if it's necessarily polka dot, more like little funky circles. And this one's kind of going in this direction where it's light and then it gets dark, or dark and then it gets light. So we have this a Granny Apple Green, and then we have a solid um, ombre pattern where it's a dark and then going to lighter. So then our next color is um, Bermuda Bay. And these are the same patterns on all of them. And then we have a solid Bermuda Bay. Then on the back side of Greeny Apple, we have Blackberry Bliss. And then the same Blackberry Bliss on this side. And then on the back of our Bermuda Bay, <laughs> can't say that three times fast, um, we have Rococo Rose. So we have that in the, in the little circle pattern and then the solid. Okay, I'm gonna see if anybody's guessed. Uh, the Butterfly Suite, nope. Tammy, mine's supposed to come in today. Okay, I know we don't have a lot watching, but what I'm going to pair this with, with I'm so excited. Hold on, where's the stamp set? 
is the Friendly Flamingo. Uh, stamp set and the Flamingo dies. I am very excited. We um, actually used both these papers in our Stamperie uh, last Saturday. And I'll show you the projects we made last Saturday before we get started on our projects today, just to share a couple of more ideas. This is the one that we made using the um, Oso Ombre paper, but I paired this with the Fine Art Suite. So we just did a four and a quarter by four and a quarter card, uh, square card. We used some of the great new um, gilded leafing, um, which is really pretty. And then we die cut the words in that set, the die set. All right, and then we used the flamingo and did a cute little flamingo kind of uh, pop-up card. And we used the um, artistry. It's in the, the paper I used on this. I love this paper, but it's in the annual catalog. Dimensional papers everywhere. It's art, is it artistry blooms? I want to say that, but that doesn't, yep, that's it. Artistry blooms designer paper. So this was one of my favorites. Anyway, I love this die cut flamingo so much. I wanted to use the flamingo set again today. So I'm super excited. These are such cute projects. Okay, so the first one we're go going to do is we're going to use, and you wouldn't think of this with a flamingo card, but trust me, it's gonna look good. So we're gonna start out with the um, Blackberry Bliss using the uh, little circle pattern. And I'll post measurements on my blog later today, but we're going to back this on a piece of, um, oh, hold on. Let's just fold our card first. <laughs> Let's see where we are. All right. So we have our Blackberry Bis Bliss. I can't say that either. I don't know what's going on. Uh, card stock, card front. And then we're going to put our Oso Ombre, a Blackberry. I'm just gonna call it Blackberry for the rest of the day here. And it doesn't really matter which way your ombre is going on this. This is just kind of a fun textured background that we're going to use. And then I've got a piece of white for the inside because, you know, this is a dark piece of cardstock. And I, I'm just using my Tombow adhesive today. Very thin. I like to put it on very thin. All right, so then I have another layer of Blackberry cardstock and a piece of white. And this is just an eighth of an inch bigger. So it's going to have just a very narrow border on this one. So I put this on. And I'm these are very quick and, and simple cards, you guys. I want things that you can replicate pretty easily without too many supplies or too much stress. Just fun, quick, easy cards. Okay, so now I'm going to use this super fun flamingo right here, and it's got a little, uh, a little fun wing that has little wave, you know, wavy feather type uh, marking, like in emboss, embossing on it. And I die cut three flamingos, so I did two in Rococo Rose because I wanted to kind of stick with the same color theme. I did two in Rococo Rose and then I did one in Blackberry Bliss. And these cut out so nice, but you know, you gotta pop out the eyes. I'm gonna pop out the eye. I noticed that those didn't pop out when I took them out of the die. So I'm just gonna pop the eye eyeballs out. <laughs> that sounds bad. I'm gonna pop out some eyeballs. Okay, so then I'm just going to use just a little bit of adhesive on my flamingo. And let's glue one down over to the left. I want it pretty, pretty far over because I've got to fit three of these on here. And we're going to glue the other one. Okay, 
Okay, I'm just using little dots of glue, and I want this one pretty close to the other side. His foot's got to go down. I want just a little teeny bit of white showing there. Okay, and then I'm gluing down their wings as well. These are kind of my background flamingos. So these are not the ones that I want to stand out real well. Because you know, you know how I feel about Rococo Rose. Okay, so this is the one that I want to stand out. He's my focal flamingo. But what I want, I'm going to make him do to stand out is I am going to cover the whole thing with Wink of Stella. Because, you know, if we're going to talk about flamingos, they better be pretty flamboyant. Because that's the whole thing with flamingos. So he's going to be completely covered with Wink of Stella. So sparkly. I almost cut him out of our rainbow glimmer paper, but it he was just a little too wide to get him all that dark, dark blackberry color. All right, so next I'm gonna pop him up. This one's gonna be popped up. Let's flip it over. I'm not sure I can put one back behind his head. I'm going to put those two, and I'm going to put one on his wing. I think this will be enough to hold him up. Because we're going to do something to secure his leg there in a minute. Okay. So let's get him on. I've got to pop him up. He might overlap just a hair. I did peel off those things. Okay. He's a little over to the left, but that's okay because we're going to add his wing there. Oh my gosh. You guys see how sparkly that is? There you go. So cute. All right. We've got to put a sentiment. So I've got a little strip of Blackberry Bliss cardstock. And it's just, uh, I think it's half an inch by maybe two and a half inches. And we are going to stamp this sentiment. It says, stand tall and stand out. And of course, it's on Blackberry Bliss, which is dark. So we're going to do this in Versamark. And let's put a little white embossing powder on it. I like embossing. I haven't done much embossing lately. I feel like I need to get back and do some of that. Okay. Oh, that looks so nice. Okay, we're gonna do a quick heat emboss on it. Looks like a little bit of white powder there. There it goes. This takes a minute to get going. Okay, that's my, my quick and easy heat tool I keep plugged in next to my desk all the time. All right, so I'm going to flag the right end of this. Wow, that's so small and dark, hard to see. Okay. I'm going to pop this up. I'm going to put two dimensionals. I'll just put two mini dimensionals, one on each end. And then I'm going to, on this end, put a, just a teeny bit of Tombow right on the edge. And I'm going to stick it coming right out from under his leg, going across and glue his leg down to my sentiment. And that's also going to help stabilize these legs so they don't go flying all over and get caught. You could also put a teeny, I have a little piece cut here from the edge of my dimensionals. Let's see if we can maybe stick this behind his neck to get his head a little stabilized. Oh, he's popping out. Okay. 
Let's see how that is. No, it's still stuck to my finger. <laughs> oh, maybe it's a good idea, maybe not. Now that I've bent his head, I think it just needs to be smaller. So we're doing an extra mini. I just need to look at it from a different angle. I can't get my finger in there. There we go. All right. Oh, sorry. That was pushed off screen. Okay. There you go. Isn't that cute? So quick and easy. I love that. And look how glittery it is. So shiny. Okay. Yay. That's one down. Okay. The next one, I'm going to go with Rococo Rose. Even though it's not my favorite, you know, it's still, if this is a good flamingo color. So I don't mind it so much when I'm doing a flamingo card. All right, so I think I have a piece of white for the inside. Let me see, is that the same? I have two pieces of white, so I wanna make sure I get the right one. Even though this isn't super dark, whoops, getting a little bit clogged here. All right, there's our inside done. Now, I have a piece of white for the outside. Then I'm using the solid ombre. I think I'll do with the lighter part going up. And what I wanna do is I'm putting this in the ornate floral 3D embossing folder, which is just covered with all these little flowers and leaves. So we're gonna put it in here, run it through the die cut and embossing machine, and it comes out looking like this. Isn't that cool? I love that. And then we're just going to glue it to our white because if we put it right on here, it kind of gets lost a little bit. But when we put a little layer of white, that's gonna make that paper stand out even more. You see how, how it does that if you compare that to adding a little layer of white, or you could do black, but um, I'm going with the lighter card. That looks so cool on the back with the um, Bermuda Bay. Whoops, I've got glue all over my fingers now. All right, let's get this on here. This is just a very thin border. Okay, I'm getting all gluey. Very thin border. Okay, so we're not ready to assemble yet. I have got a piece of vellum that's uh, four inches wide. It's the same width as the white. And I wanna stamp my sentiment on here. And I'm gonna use this sentiment, it says, what does it say? Hoping your day is, ama is as amazing as you are, which is a perfect birthday card because this is going to be a good one for birthdays. We're going to use some Memento ink. And I want to stamp this over to the right, hopefully getting it center and straight. That looks okay. I'll take that. All right, uh, now I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry for a minute because it's on vellum and it's not porous so it doesn't sink in. It just kind, it needs to dry on top of the vellum. So I'm gonna set that aside for just a minute, let that dry. I have another piece of white and I'm gonna stamp a flamingo. So I'm taking my big flamingo stamp and you kind of notice his beak is um, black and I'll show you how we're gonna get this. Uh, I need some Rococo Rose ink. And I need my black stamp and write marker. Now my black marker, I have had this thing forever. I have re-inked it. It's a little weird, I'm just gonna tell you. I need a new one, and I've just been too, I keep forgetting to order a new one. But I'm going to take my brush tip and what I've done is just wipe off the Rococo Rose ink off of his beak, and I'm coloring his beak black with my marker. Now this tends to work better on red rubber stamps, not so much on this, but I found that if I 
I just dot it with the side of my marker, it gets a better coverage than drawing. So I just kind of dot, you know, do this all over it until it looks pretty black where I want it to look. All right, then we are going to stamp our flamingo. Give it a good press. Ooh, it looks so cool. Love it, love it. Okay, now he's got an eye and we need a little dot in that eye. Now my other tip was leaking because of what I did to it. <laughs> I'm just gonna use a little journaler. You could use whatever, a little teeny Sharpie. And I'm just gonna put a little black dot right on his eye. And if you look at flamingos, they all do have that black dot in their eye that's pretty visible. So you wanna make sure you color that. Okay, so we need to die cut. Uh, where's my dies? Right here. So we're just gonna take this nice big open one and it, it's real easy to line up. You can see how nicely that fits. So I'm gonna run this through the embossing folder but through the magic of videos, I already have one ready. Ooh, are you impressed? I am not impressed. <laughs> okay, so let's finish our assembly. Uh, I have a piece of white. This is one and a half inches, or one and a quarter maybe. One and a quarter, one and a half. I'll put the measurements later. I am going to... Um, layer this on white because I want that sentiment to show a little bit better. I mean, it shows there, but if you layer it on white, it's gonna show even more. So I don't wanna use a lot of glue. I'm gonna use just a little bit of Tombow right here on this edge and a little bit on this edge. And then I'm gonna put more um, where my flamingo is gonna be and glue it to the white. Okay, trying not to touch the words just in case they're not, not quite dry yet. Okay, we're gonna put some glue right there. Let's just put this right across the middle or as close to the middle as we can get. Give that a good press. All right, now I'm gonna take, and I gotta always have something sparkly. So I'm gonna take some of this, what is this? Um, metallic ribbon and really it's kind of a, a petal pink on one side and it's more of a Rococo petal pink or blushing bright on the um, super sparkly side and then more of a Rococo rose on the shimmery side so we're going to use the shimmery side to, that matches a little better if you want to use the other side you are Welcome to, but I feel better more about matchy matchy than um, sparkly. All right, so I'm going to cover the edge of the white with the ribbon. We're just going to put a little scotch tape on the back to hold it on. Get that relatively straight. I'm, I'm kind of covering the seam is what I want to do. That's my, that's my hope, is to cover the seams. And let's do on the bottom. So you just want to have it wide enough so it, we're not going to cover our words here, hopefully. All right. There we go. Now we are ready to glue this to the card front. Okay. I'm still not touching that black, just to make sure. Look, I already have black on my, my fingers. Okay, and then let's pop up our um, flamingo. This one is a little thicker, so we have more room to put pop-ups on. Although on um, his legs, I want to put a little, a little skinny piece. Do I have a little side? This is what I love about our dimensionals, these extra pieces on the sides. 
because you can cut those as, as thin as you need them. I'm going to put one piece down on his foot. Kind of secure his feet so you see that there. Okay. We're going to pop this up right here. So cute. You want to make sure that your dimensionals are sticking to the paper and not the ribbon. If you stick something to a ribbon, it's going to be kind of loose and a little bit floppy. So always try to stick it to the paper instead. All right, we're going to throw a few rhinestones in here just because... We need a little extra bling. Let's do one, two, let's see if we can get by with three. Okay, I can't pick it up. It doesn't want to pick up. I should probably use my other end. My scooper. Scooper end. Eh, we'll go with three. Okay, so that is card number two. I love these together. Okay, so now, and they were kind of, you know, not super bright, but we still have two colors left. We have a, um, we have Granny Apple Green and Bermuda Bay. So we are going to make a fun, bright, happy card to offset all the ice that we have outside today and bring us to somewhere a much more tropical. I'm trying to find all my, my tools here. So I'm gonna use Greeny Apple Green for my card base, which is, a, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a little bit darker. So I'm gonna use a, a piece of white on the inside. Just so we can write later. Okay, so now I have a piece of white, and this is just an eighth of an inch smaller than my card base. So my card base, my front, is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I cut this piece four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I've taken, I, what I took was um, a full sheet, or a, let's see, five and a quarter by four piece of green apple green and then I took another one same size of the Bermuda Bay and I cut it in half this way and cut it in half that way and then I'm just using half from each side and we are going to I'm going to use this one up in this corner we're going to glue these down and hopefully in theory they should line up perfectly hopefully Let's see, I'm going to do just like a square, a four square pattern. That looks pretty good. And it's a very thin border, as you can see. And you could have done this with the other colors too, but I wanted something a little more bright and tropical for today. Because flamingos are tropical. Okay. I'm butting these up. I don't want them overlapping. Hopefully that doesn't look super straight. Let's see. Oh, this look okay. All right, so that's my background. And I think I can go ahead and glue this to the card front. I am just squirting thin lines of Tombow multi-purpose glue. can barely even tell that that's green in the background. There's a little bit of green showing though. Okay, so I'm using a, a mat of Grady Apple Green, and then we're gonna go with a basic white on top, but we're gonna stamp on this basic white. All right, so I'm gonna stamp another flamingo. I'm gonna go with the same flamingo color because I wanna keep, um, I don't want too many different colors on our, whoops, there goes my die. Too many different colors on our cards so that you guys can easily duplicate these if you want. I'm gonna give, give it a quick clean. Okay, we're gonna ink it up. 
Once again, I'm going to wipe off the Rococo Rose off of his beak. And we'll put another, I just, you know, if you look at flamingos, they have black beaks. Now, I grew up in Florida. Flamingos are not wild there. You have to go to the zoo, like Bush Gardens or somewhere to see them. Uh, I think they're more native to either South America or Africa or something. Not really native to Florida. We get big birds, but we don't get uh, free-flying flamingos. But that would be cool if we did, for sure. Okay. Um, is that where I wanted that? I was not I was thinking I was going to die cut it, but I'm not. I'm going to stamp. <laughs> That's what I get for talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay. So we're going to stamp. We're not die cutting them. I think that'll be okay. It's maybe a little lower than I had wanted, but we can make it work. Oh my goodness. Okay, Sandy, pay attention to what you're doing. Okay, so we have this little water image. So we're going to stamp some water there, and we're going to do that in Bermuda Bay because we need to bring in the colors of our papers. So we'll do some Bermuda Bay water. Uh, that looks okay there. And now, I, what I want to do, while it's not quite dry, I'm going to take my blender pen and I'm kind of softening up these water lines a little bit. I don't use blender pens as much as I would like to either. Okay, so that's, I need something to wipe this on. Clean it off, all right. So I think... Then we're going to stamp, that's all of our Bermuda Bay and our Rococo Rose. Oh, let's get this closed. That one's a little tighter. All right, I'm going to use uh, black. We're going to bring the memento back, black, back, <laughs> the black memento back. I'm going to just stamp this little small sentiment that says, just be you, which is perfect for a flamingo card. I'm gonna stamp it right there. Just be you, so cute. Okay, now we're gonna add a few die cut pieces, but let's go ahead and glue this on since we're done with this. Thin, thin borders and we're gonna pop some stuff up, so let's just glue this down. You don't wanna to have too many layers popped up because you wanna be able to stick this in the mailbox without having to do too much extra postage. I don't think you'll need any extra postage uh, unless you wanna add the rhinestones, which of course we are gonna add the rhinestones. All right, so we have in here, we have this great kind of this tall leafy image, which we are gonna stamp in, what color do you think? You guessed it, granny apple green. So we have to bring our DSP colors in. So I stamped that in granny apple green. It already has some shading on there. I just stuck my finger in it but I want to color in the leaves just a little more. So just take your blender pen and color the leaves in with the ink that's already there. And all that nice shading stays there. These are so good. I don't know why I don't use them more. I need to start using them more. I'm just coloring down there. Okay, we have, of course, we have a wonderful dye that fits right over and cuts that leaf out like magic, or I should say like butter. So it comes out just like that, it's perfect. All right, let's pop this up with some mini dimensionals. We don't need a whole lot, I'm gonna put three just because it's long, whoops, one, put one at the top, one at the bottom, and one in the middle. Okay. He's 
gonna just, this is just gonna kind of pop up over his tail like that. Now we need one more element. So in here, it's got this little flower. It kind of reminds me of a hibiscus flower. Um, where is it? Right here. Uh, let's get a little block to put this on. And we're going to go with just a little bit brighter color because this is just going to make it better. Um, this is Magenta Madness. And we're going to stamp three flowers. And what's so great about the dies is, let's get this, these out of the way here, is they give you three flower dies right here. One, two, three. So you can cut out three flowers at a time. And um, you just kind of have to figure out where where they go, but they do line up once you get, you know, get your, get it oriented right. They cut out all at once. Uh, I need to turn it this way, I think. Yep. So you can cut all three of those out at once, which I have already done just to save us a little bit of time. I'm going to set that aside. Okay. So we're going to pop these up. I love this card. I'm so excited. I had I had stamped all different colors of flower. I did Rococo Rose. I did orange. I did red. And this was the best one. So I'm going to just do, add a couple flowers on my vine because it's a flowering vine. And it's like the flamingo picked, picked one of the flowers and stuck it in its hair. And where my rhinestones go? We need more rhinestones, of course. Okay, I'm gonna put one in the middle of that flower, one in the middle of this flower. Okay, one in the middle of that flower. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I love it. Okay. Well, we've got Stephanie watching. I'm just looking to see if we have any comments or questions. I can't get in there. No, nope, cancel. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so here are the three cards we made today. Oh, where's my other... Here it is. So just remember, so cel celebration. <laughs> no, I'm tongue tied today. Celebration is still going on this month through the end of February, and then it's going to be gone. These project products are going to be gone. Um, but the ombre paper, you um, only have to put a fifty dollars in merchandise. So you can go to sandyreese.stampinup.net to place your order. Um, in the flamingo set, where did I put that catalog? Oh, here, let me show you. If you want to look at this awesome, friendly flamingo set, it's on page 43 in the January to June catalog. The bundle is only $37.75, so that is one of the less expensive bundles. Um, but it comes with 10 dies. We have... 12 images in the stamp set. I didn't use this one today, uh, but I did use it on this card. When I did, I kind of did that with orange or mango with the happy birthday for a little pop-up. Super cute. Um, but lots of different images for scene building and um, just fun, awesome flamingo cards. So if you like this, um, you can always sign up to on my you or subscribe to my YouTube channel. It, just look up, go to YouTube and look up Sandy Reese um, and hit subscribe so you get all of my video updates. All right, thanks everybody, and uh, I will post measurements and supplies later today on my blog. Thanks. Bye bye.